Hello everybody, how you doing? Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. The old and the new is the theme today, starting with the old, the T29. Everyone loves the T29. If you don't love the T29, I don't know about you. And we're going to see this uh, GR3W from the Genie Clan. What am I doing here? Yeah, I got to click. I clicked the wrong button. I have had my coffee. Not like yesterday. I didn't have my coffee and my commentary um, meandered yesterday. Okay, would you agree? It, uh, it, it was a non-coffee commentary. So my, I think, uh, I think it was calm and but it calm in a strange way it kind of wandered it's almost like I, my, my cognitive functions were not uh, intact so <laughs> uh, is he going to get hit by the guy that's in the bush there's always someone in the bush there no his teammate got hit and he got hit they all got oh his teammate died wow let me I got to teach you something here because that, that happens all the time let's look at the minimap here right Shall we do it? Because this uh, the 5916 on his team has gone to counter those guys, but it took him a while. Someone always goes to these bushes here where the Chaffee and the M10 RB FM go. Always. Okay? And I do when I'm on the map and I get that spawn. And they can easily shoot across like this. And the PZ4H paid for it and he took a hit. The way to... If you don't want to take the hill, you know, if, you don't, if you're not a fast tank that wants to get up on the hill, you just want to get to this location. What you do is you come down this way. Ah, damn. You come down this way and you, you hug the, the edge of the map. You come like this. You go like that. And you won't get detected. Why? Because you look at the green circle here. or not, You look at the green and the white circle on this map. Where he is right now, you see the white circle? That's the maximum detection range. You see where those tanks are relative to the white circle? If he just moves that far, further that way, those he'll be outside maximum detection range. And those guys will not detect them. So you just got to scoot like this. Even go where the Stug is. And then cut across like that. And you will not get detected. It'll take you longer though. So if you want to get to the hill fast, it's not an option. But if you're one of those slow heavy tanks guys, like a T, look, there's no hope that the uh, the T29 is going to get on the hill, right? You're not going to beat a Burask to the hill. Right? If you're in a really slow heavy tank, uh, and you're never going to make it on top of the hill anyway, you might want to take that long way. It'll take you an extra 5-6 seconds to get here, but you will not lose some HP. And it's just the, it's the game mechanic, right? Because uh, the people that go to that bush that want to snipe you, you will be, well, they will be outside your white circle. And vice versa, you will be outside their white circle. That's how it works. That's geometry. Because the white circle just represents 444 meters of distance. It's a circle on the map, but it re you know it's telling you. That a tank on that edge of that white circle is 445 meters away. Anything outside that white circle is more than 445 meters away, which means you are more than 445 meters away, right? The distance between the two points is 445, and they can both draw circles. <laughs> and your loader has bought the farm. And it's going to take you forever to load now, so don't keep poking until you're loaded. And now you, you wasted that shot. Now you're going to be waiting 20 seconds to reload. So anyways, uh, uh, how many of you knew that? You can get to this spot without being detected by those those guys. He's probably thinking, shit, why am I not reloaded? It's, it's really bothering him. Yeah, he made it count. Back up a bit now. Get hauled down. Get hauled down. Good. He's uh, waiting for his uh, first aid kit to regenerate, guys. He's waiting for it to regenerate. <laughs> He's probably very frustrated with his... You got to make your shot count now. Oh, Make your shot count. He, you got to fully aim with the T29. Now, can it? Does he fix? Yes, he fixes. It. Good. The T29 requires full aiming. There's no snapping in a T29. There you go. Everyone loves the T29. So now he's got a lot of time. There he goes. 
Oops! <laughs> the, why did he shoot the light tank? I would have shot the light tank and made him pay for his stupidity. You're shooting an angled... Yeah, okay. Let him do what he wants. How many of you knew about that? You could take the little long way and you won't... You won't get detected. If you're constantly getting sniped on your way to the hill, that's how you avoid it. Leave a comment in the comment section if uh, that was news to you. Look at all the targets on the hill. Uh, the enemy team has won the hill. <laughs> That's all they've won though. The whole enemy team went to the hill. His team controls the whole rest of the map. And this is a perfect position for him. As the hull down heavy tank holding them off. They can't come off the hill now. If you would have rushed on the hill. Uh, chances are he'd be dead. Right? Because <laughs> there's like what 11 of them up there. <laughs> So it's a perfect situation. Now, don't let him get away. Don't. Oh, okay, make him pay. <laughs> Beautiful. <They're> just <laughs> the T-34 has come off the hill. Watch it on your on your left. On your other left. Your left. Your left. No, don't show you. Yes, there. Oh, and he missed. Yes, you can do it, buddy. He's got more. Oh, he took. That was a bad one to take. How, how come he got hit there? Fully. Oh. Wow. When I said everyone loves the uh, T-29, you know, I've, I forgot about the troll gun. Uh, some people use the smaller gun. Some people use the you know, higher DPM, smaller alpha gun. There is another gun choice for this tank. And it works. It does work. I like the big gun. But you do have to fully aim. And now he's got a BDR. I wouldn't trade with the BDR because he's he can do quite a bit of damage. Oh, you can trade with him. You don't even have to trade. You can just fully aim. He does this thing where he's almost fully aimed, and then he jerks his aim. He jerks his aim a little bit before he shoots. Do you notice that, guys? He's almost fully aimed. That time he didn't. But he's like almost fully aimed, and he kind of just jiggles the mouse. I think it's his the pressure of his finger. Pressing the fire button. Jiggles the mouse. Get that fixed. Get a mouse with a, a easier left button. A button that doesn't shake the whole mouse when you... Uh, maybe his mouse is not on a nice mouse pad where there's some friction. That happens when you're playing with your mouse just on your table. It moves around a lot. When you go to press it, you're act. Pr pressing the left or right key actually moves the mouse slightly and you have high sensitivity settings uh, it, it really screws you up if, if you're if you're playing like that change it I think that's what's happening to this guy uh, he's a super hellcat oh, oh the, ch the enemy chaffee somehow got behind enemy lines or his lines yeah go for it go for it you can do it you might even be able to shoot the super hellcat no the super hellcat's still on the hill Okay. Well done. Oh, these, these artilleries are going to pay. Or this artillery is going to pay. There's only one. Is he going to load an HE shell? You've brought three HE shells. Uh, are you going to use the HE shell? And if you're not, why did you bring them? That's the question I always ask people. That to pack HE. I say, well, if you, if you brought the HE shells, the guy's right in those bushes there. pretty bad that he couldn't see him and I guess that's why he didn't pack the HE shell <laughs> the guy's only got 315 uh, uh, HP okay you can do it you can take a hit back up back up back up back up back, 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 back. boom very nice nicely played everyone loves the T29 regular schmo playing the T29 way to go Gru from the genie clan t29 versus actors <laughs> is this i don't i don't think so i think you just had a really good game and the enemies tried but you did well and uh, you lost credits because they were actors and you're a gold spammer and did i say something about uh, old versus new or something like that i changed my mind we're gonna watch this guy because i just like his name he's got one of the best usernames in world of tanks he's the horny cz there he is in his rudy and he's got a message for us a message to you, Rudy. Right? 
Look at this guy. Isn't that the best uh, uh, username? And he's telling people, I'm going to J8. I am the horny CZ, and I'm going to J8. What You couldn't ask for a better teammate, in my opinion. We're just having fun today with, uh, you know, some fun tanks to watch. Wasn't that? That was fun. Don't you think? <laughs> I mean, did you learn something in that game? Uh, about how to... Maybe a little trick of how to not get sniped at the beginning. And secondly, uh, his assertion that he was playing against actors. No, he wasn't. It's just that the enemies, um, they all had the same idea. The, the hill is important on that map, but that's one of the rare occasions where the whole team <laughs> went to the hill. And if you don't have map, map control, it doesn't matter if you control that hill. The rest of the, the enemies are going to surround you eventually and you'll be just trapped on the hill. You have to have some map control. You got to take the one-two line as well. You got to take, you know, you have to have. It's good to have five, six, even seven people go to the hill. Fine, but if you put the whole team up there, uh, then they, they all get there and they say, "I thought you were covering the one line. I thought you were covering the one line. I thought you were covering the. No, you were supposed to." And the, the arguing starts, and it's crowded. <laughs> So they weren't actors. Uh, they might have been. Um, they all had similar ideas. And he spammed APCR like a mofo. And this Rudy, you're in a good position. You don't have to uh, uh, change the angle here. You, you, you're in a good spot there. You could take that guy out. Just pull pull up there and whip your turret over your right shoulder and... But he, he chooses to go this way. This is a more dangerous side to poke. See? This is more dangerous here, but that's okay. Oh, he bounced the shot. He's just auto-locked here, guys. But the, the shot deviated so that it would actually do damage. If you're auto-locked, you're going to hit the gun mat. Let, look where he's auto-locked on it. Okay, it, it works. It, it, nothing like pressing number two to help you out. And he's just going to use his DPM now. Why not? I'm a Rudy. Rudy, 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 Rudy. <laughs> this is the Rudy PL. It's not the regular Rudy. This is the... Uh, is this the Czechoslovakian Rudy? There's another Rudy. I've lost track. That's what Wargaming does. Is They introduce the same tank. But it's a different nation. So that, you know, hopefully you'll buy it again. Okay, well, let's see, Rudy. Good play. He did a good play. He uh, took a gamble that there was no support for those guys that he attacked. And now I think there's topography in the way, but uh, no. But uh, they've cleared out the railway line. And on this map, the railway line wins the game. He who wins the railway line wins the game. I've mentioned that many times. And uh, I'm going to explain why, okay? One more time for the non-believers. And the reason is, let's see if he pens anything here, a little, even a little higher. The reason is, if you go to the city on force, just like the previous map that we watched, they went to the hill, the hill wins the map, but if you go, if all of you go on the hill, you're gonna get surrounded. On this map, if your team goes on force to the city, you, they'll probably win the city, right? But after winning the city, what do you do? Then you're kind of stuck in the city because to exit the city uh, you've got to go through open ground and if uh, all your team goes to the city presumably the enemy takes control of the map and then when you exit the city you're in a crossfire you're in the open you're gonna die like a muppet you've won the city and you're pretty much the only place you're safe is in the city <laughs> so the city doesn't win it's good to win the city but it's not tactically important like when you win the rails. When you win the rails, the whole railway line that, you know, goes to the whole side. Of, then you control that whole two sides of the map and you have a nice hull down. The railway line provides a line that is a nice hull down position that you can, uh, you can poke that ridge line and shoot everyone. And react to everything that's happening on the map. 
So, so there you go. And it's a direct route to the, it's a direct safe route to the enemy cap or back to your cap. Whereas look at the city. If you got to get back to your cap or go to the enemy cap, you got to drive through a, a big swath of open ground. Uh, and you're, you know, so. Looks like the enemies went en masse to the city where they died like muppets. And the Rudy went where it was more important. Oh, there's a dead tank in the way. That's the one that you were shooting before. And boop. Oh, yes. And he's dead. His teammate got very nice. How many of you agree with me <coughs> on this map? The rails are the most important. Doesn't mean you, you can't have anyone in the city. It's the same situation as the previous map. On the previous map, I say the hill is the most important part of that map. But you can't all go to the hill or you're going to lose the map control. On this map, the rails are the most important part. But you can't all go to the rails. Probably a little less forgiving on this map. If you all go to the rails, it's it's less forgiving than if you all go to the hill on the other one. And that, what is this in his way? A, a tree? A tree trunk? What is that? Keep shooting him! What, what, are you, what are you doing? I don't know what he, what he did there. Could have kept him permatract. So, leave, leave, uh, let me know your opinion, okay? On this map, do you disagree? Do you say, no, the city's more important? I always go to the city. You can go to the city if you want. I'm not saying don't go to the city. You know, if you're a heavy tank or a, you're, you need, prefer to side scrape or you have a tank that does better in the city, go to the city. But hopefully your whole team doesn't go to the city. <laughs> if you have some mobility and a little bit of gun depression, go to the rails. Trust me. If you have a team that 10 of you, 11 of you go to the rails, you're going to win the game. If your team, you notice only one or two go to the rails, go back to the base and just defend because you're going to lose. Don't even bother going to the city. You're going to be better off close to your, your base where you're ready to defend. You'll get more damage than if you go to the city. A lot of games on this map are won by a team that ignores the city. You know, uh, especially in competitive games, they say, just just let them take the city. You could take the rail. All of you could go down the rails and set up a perimeter around their cap. They can't even get back to cap without coming around open ground. So, yeah, you're in the city, buddy. You're safe until someone comes who's gonna shoot you up the ass, but you faked them. He went too far. He's just, he's auto locked, but no problem. Yes. Good little game by the Rudy. He played well. Just another regular schmo. I, I wouldn't call the first player a regular schmo, though. He spammed APCR like a mofo and lost like 50, 59,000 credits with a T29, which is hard to do. <laughs> Talk about losing credits. If that guy, it's a tier 7 heavy tank, right? If you're going to lose. 50, 60,000 credits per game in tier 7. You're going to be giving Wargaming a lot uh, uh, to make up for that. You're going to be buying some premium uh, tanks and some premium account time. It's going to cost you hundreds of dollars a year to maintain that pace. But that's okay. That's what he wants. Now, is the Rudy going to actually... There he is. There he is. Snap it. Snap it, Rudy. Snap it. Who's going to get him? And the SPG propelled himself in the wrong direction. And now the Rudy will face someone uh, with more HP. Is he just going to go in, put his balls on the table, and just go in and brawl it out? Let's see. The Rudy goes. He auto-locks. Boom! Smacks him. Yeah, Ma Mare, you're a light tank, and he smacked you. And this guy, I think, spammed APCR like a mofo as well. But uh, he got Ace Tanker in his Rudy. He did over 3,000 damage, which was a beautiful little game, and he made credits. Because I think, uh, well, he spent 100 grand on, on ammunition with personal bonus. Even with personal bonus turned on with a regular account in a premium tank, would have lost credits because of the ammunition cost of about 100,000 credits. Wow. Wargaming, your ammunition, it's expensive to play this game. 
leave some comments. Let me know about this, uh, the map tactics that I talked about and uh, see if, whether you agree with me or disagree with me and give me your reasons. Maybe you have a different perspective. We will read the comments and I will catch you guys on the next one.